guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Naturally Shade. <clears throat> Please excuse my voice. Um, I'm just, my, I have a sore throat, so bear with me. Today, I'm coming at you with another DIY for your face, and this one happens to be sugar wax. So I decided to do this for you guys because it's something that I am going to be including in my skincare routine, I guess you could say. And the reason is because I have like a little bit of facial hair on my cheeks um, and that's where it mostly grows. Like I don't really get like a mustache much, maybe just like a little bit on the side, but it's not much. At least to me, I don't, I don't know if people who see me every day are like, girl, you need to get that mustache waxed, but nobody has ever said anything about it so you know some people just are nice enough to keep their mouth closed <laughs> I mostly want to do it for my cheeks so I actually did do it and my cheeks are so smooth and free of hair I'm really excited to share this with you guys and if you want to know how to make your own sugar wax at home then keep on watching First and foremost, I'm going to exfoliate my skin to prep for the wax before I even start to make it. To make the wax, start with the medium paw and mix one cup of granulated sugar a fourth cup of lemon juice and a fourth cup of water all together in your pot on high heat until it boils. At that point, you'll reduce it to medium. You want to cook the wax until it is a golden honey color. Once it's ready, remove it from the heat and pour it into a jar immediately to cool for about 30 minutes. And don't forget to wash your pot with warm soapy water right away. I'm using a little baby powder on my face to absorb any excess oils before I get started. Now it's time to wax. Apply the wax in the opposite direction of hair growth. Use a cloth strip or cut up an old t-shirt to adhere to the wax and pull it off quickly in the same direction as your hair growth. And just repeat to all the areas that you wanna remove hair from. Once I finished, I just cleaned up all the residue with some water and I finished it up with a toner. Here's a close up of my hairs that got removed. I know, it's kind of gross, but at least you know it works. Okay, and that's it. It's as simple as that. Just those three ingredients, super easy, and most importantly, super affordable. If you're used to getting going to like a salon to get waxed or even threaded, this will save you money, like so much money in the long run because you can reuse the batch that you make and you don't have to go and have somebody else mess your face up. You can just mess it up yourself. <laughs> No, but really, I mean, it's worth a try. Like, it's really not that expensive. And what do you have to lose but hair? <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this video. 
And if you did, you already know what to do. Hit that like button down below. And also while you're there, hit that subscribe button. I uh, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.